Alright, so here we are again, Mr. Oreos here, and we are going to be installing Ray's Minimap for Minecraft 1.6.2. So let's get right into it. First, what you're going to want to need to do is you're going to go to your start menu, type in percent app data percent, and then I'll take you to your roaming file. Click on that, and you see your dot Minecraft file here. Click on that. When you're looking for your versions folder, click on that you will only see 1.6.2 folder here okay so what you need to do when you're in this page here you're gonna right click go to new go to folder name this whatever you want to call it we'll call it map okay do not name it the actual name of the mod so don't call it rage because it won't work so you see this 1.62 folder here you're gonna open that up highlight both of these right click and hit copy then go back, open up the folder that we just called map, right click again, hit paste. Those are both in there now. Now we gotta rename both of these files. So we gotta call this map, and we have to call this one map as well. So, then you see your JSON file, you're gonna highlight that, right click it, open with notepad or notepad plus plus. And you'll get this screen here. So, when you get this screen, you're looking for the ID number, and you see quotations 1.6.2. Go inside of the quotation marks, don't delete the quotation marks, go inside of them, delete the 1.6.2, and type in map, or whatever you called your file. Then go to file, hit save, exit out of that. Now, you're going to see your jar file here. This will say jar f executable jar file. This will not say WinRAR, okay? So you're just going to right click on that, open with WinRAR, whatever, or 7-zip. I'm just going to open this up. And that will bring up our jar file here. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to see this meta m folder. You're going to want to highlight that, delete it. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. All right very important you do that if you don't do that none of the mods that you install will work whatsoever okay so now you have that now you're gonna take your raise mini map this link will be in the description uh, you're gonna open that up and you will either hold control a or highlight the first folder then hold shift and highlight the last folder that will highlight all three of them okay and you're basically just gonna um, drag these into the class files and then you hit OK and wait for it to load up and that's good close out of this and close out of this now we could start up Minecraft you launch it will start up for you here and then when you see this you go to your down here in the bottom left go to new profile and then name it whatever you want. We'll just call it map. And then you go down here. It says use version. And you click the drop down box. The one that we just called map, it's right here. It says release map. You click that. You click save profile. Now you go down to this drop down box. And the one that we just called map, you click it. There you go. Then you hit play. And then it will load up for you and then when you see the motioning screen I will show you guys real quick we'll start a new, new world here create new world creative okay and yeah so pretty much that's all you gotta do it's very 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 simple so once you get the hang of it, it's basically, you can install more mods with this exact same process. All you gotta do is find a different mod, let's say you wanna do Optifine, okay? Which I did make a video on that, so if you wanna see that, go check it out. But, um, you wanna do Optifine, then it's basically the same exact thing. So you see, in the top right corner, the mini-map is right there. We did it. And it's very laggy because my computer sucks, but I am getting a new PC 
uh, next week it should be here so yes and yes so this will not be I won't be getting 10 frames anymore I'll be getting like 200 hopefully so you know that's how you install it and then if you hit X it'll bring up the big map right and so you can see everything and then you hit X again that'll take it away and then if you hit M this will bring up the menu for it death point you could it's the other it's disabled by default which means if you enable it that means wherever you die you will see a point where you last died so it's a lot easier for you to find where you died and then you can go to entities and then right now it's a by default it's disabled you could turn it on and I could do disable slimes and squids and keep the rest Hit exit menu and now you could see in the top right there's a whole bunch of dots and everything which is the animals and the mobs and the mobs are will be the red dots so that's what they'll come up as the red dots so yeah uh, there you guys go I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like comment um, let me know what I could do better and yeah there you guys go and I will see you guys next time later